Can I not speak to any more of you? You all had different missions for a while. I guess it wasn't different. I guess there were just multiple ways to access this thing. But the elf is probably my favorite out of all of them, so I won't do the big old complain. I'm really enjoying this place. It's like it got its own little faction mission. It, it's just a, a random area that I almost forgot about. I totally ignored for ages. Where are all my friends? Oh, they just took a while to spawn in behind me. Okay, that's not ominous at all. Maybe they were hanging out outside and I didn't even fucking notice. But yes, um... It feels like it's own fucking faction mission. Just a, a very, very small area that I nearly completely ignored. Having a, a, a main fucking mission, at, well not main mission, but having a big fucking central story attached to it. That is this fucking interesting, this fucking build upon, and ends with fighting a Niskaru Lord? Which was reserved for the pinnacle of the fucking War Swan questing, I might add. Where, where are we going? Oh, I'm a complete and utter idiot. Okay, well, we should probably just follow this guy. He seems to know what he's doing. I don't know why he's leading out of us, considering he's prayed and has absolutely nothing to do with the Tomb of Faragnos. Thank fuck, because if anyone else had to, uh, if I had to escort anyone else through here, I may have cried. Oh, yeah. This was meant to involve fighting, wasn't it? Sorry about that one. What was supposed to take four people just sort of took me and the powers of the gods. Uh, where's our little elf, man? Hello? Buddy? We kind of really fucking- are you still moving? How are you so very far behind? Isn't he the one that got like injured during the mission? You're just taking in all the dreamy fucking sights, are you? Or are you just on a mind-sweeping operation? And by mind-sweeping, I mean you're taking them all to the fucking Let face. Speak quickly. It's one way of doing it, I guess. How do we find Faragnos? It appears he is incubating in the Arathi complex at the end of the canyon. It's Arathi. We That's why it's so it awesome. the tomb of Faragnos to get there. In case you haven't noticed, we're here. I, I wasn't asking about that. I was trying to figure out how the fuck we get through this door. Why are you walking? I've been here for ages, please! It all. The testament was cleverer than I gave them credit for. From the look of things, this door will only open if someone is standing on the switch back there. We don't have time to break down the door. Someone is going to have to stay behind to keep this open. Do I choose who? I'll stay behind. I want you to stay behind. I haven't decided yet. I mean, I'm not staying behind. These guys will literally fucking die instantly. I one-shotted my way through this entire fucking dungeon. They do the dinkiest little bits of fucking toothpick damage. I mean, this boy's got a magical toothpick, which is a little bit scarier than a regular one, but still, kind of pathetic in comparison to your god powers. I haven't decided yet. We I don't want it to be cold. Leisure to ponder this for long. You need to make a decision. Considering I'm pretty damn sure they'll die at this point, I mean, you've got nothing to live for anymore, but at least you're kind of badass. You've got nothing to live for, but at least you're kind of badass. You've got nothing to live for. And I guess you've got a nice beard, I guess. You need to pick one of us to stay behind. We don't have the time to linger. Yeah, I forgot how, just how unfitting your voice was. The incredible, beautiful, badass Viking overlord beard. And then the voice of a little fucking munchkin. So I guess you're staying behind. And this is goodbye. I'll hold the door for as long as I can. You need to get going. Take it down. Are you sort of just convinced you'll fucking die? I like the multiple sort of outcomes of this mission. I know it doesn't really change a huge amount because they're probably all gonna die at the end anyway, but I like it. It'll be actually really nihilistic and just interesting to- or oh, not interesting and weird to look back on this place if- because these guys are like the only remaining dudes, right? In the entire place. And if they end up all dying, because we we decided to take on this threat together. When honestly, I probably could have done it alone if you guys just wanted to stand on that fucking pressure plate forever and, you know, hold them off and actually stand a chance of surviving, then that would have made a hell of a lot more sense. But I mean, if we if we watch the final survivors of the testament of the testament of Balin fall to the testament of Balin, and it's just us, we are the only survivor of this entire region. Looking back on the regions, it's kind of going to be a bit terrifying. Through we go. Wait, it's just taking me out into the red mud. This isn't what I expected. It's just a big fucking demon summoning ring. I thought we were going to go way deeper into the depths of hell. Oh, wait, that's him. 
He just shows up instantly. He's a regular ass Titan. So I guess maybe Titans are young lords. They're lords of the. <laughs> Did I end him? Is he dead? Okay, he's not quite dead. I thought I took him out in a single shot because his fucking health bar just disappeared. If he had one from the beginning, I don't think he did for some reason. I'm not really sure what that's about, but whatever. And well, you're down for good. Can I not even injure you? Why the fuck not? I have to waste reckoning on you? I mean, fine, I guess, but this seems very stupid. I didn't realize I could rip him apart. This is amazing. I can't believe I haven't done this before. This is the coolest attack in the entire game. I'm a bit in love with that. Wait, have we not damaged you at all yet? Was it just not allowed until right now? Eighth, we're in a fight with the fuck we are with the devil right now. And you're not even moving, you haven't even noticed. What's wrong with you? Okay, so it seems like he just swallows fire and it doesn't matter because he sucks endless cock. That was so easy. Why do you even make me try? Why do you even have me bother? These guys probably could have done it alone, to be honest, and they are terrible. <sighs> Well, that's a real shame. I wonder what would have happened if I sent them in alone. Maybe there would have been choices that I could have made along the way? Like, uh, the, the conversation I could have had with Aeth at the end, I'm sure maybe there was one with the Viking man. I don't think there was one with the Alpha Soul. But that could have been, and I just wasn't really paying attention. Which is very likely when my brain is as stupid as, as it is right now. But... I don't know. It mu there must have been a reason that that was possible. Because obviously, if they all fucking die... Oh yeah, I forgot about Essence of Fate. I will definitely be taking all of that cloudy bullshit. We're also gonna open up you. But yeah, I mean, if, if they if, if they were just gonna die, then I would have had no way through. So it's just is that just a permanent failure state? I fucked up and let this place fall into the hands of a goddamn demon? Because this is probably capable of ending the world in the end. He will become an Iskaru Lord when he's just a little- he's done with his edgy teenager fucking emo phase. I don't really know how a demon gets out of its emo phase. To be honest, I think it might be fucking permanent. I think it might be a terminal case of emo. Well, to be fair, most cases of emo are terminal. That's kind of the entire point of the, uh, you know, <laughs> the style. But whatever. Talk to me. I'd love to talk to Aeth, but I feel like Colm has been our- our homie. Throughout all of this, he's the real OG, even though the Viking man is the OG, he's the one we work for first, but shh, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Can we, can you add, what the fuck was that? I didn't take my fucking finger off. Did I? How am I so bad at this? Are you over here? I, I don't understand how it can possibly be down there. It fucking moved. I am sure of it. Fuck you, buddy. Alright, talk it to me, Colm. We finally managed to defeat it. The beast is finally dead. Detir is saved. The world will know what happened here. Even if it takes me months or years, I will write the history of Ferragnus and our part in it. You'll be surprised I how little people care. The time being for research. I've read a hundred books like this, and I don't remember a single one. Told one day, I swear it. In game, not IRL. You think I fucking read? To be fair, I have been reading The Witcher books lately, and that's like the first books I've read since I was like 14 in school. I, d I, d I don't know how it's taken me this long. Mm. Fucking hell, I highly recommend The Witcher books. They are just as good as you would expect. The Red Marches! In time, this place may rebuild, but we must keep it stable for that to happen. Can we, uh... Can we maybe go check on our very, very, very obviously dead friend? As I really don't trust the fact that we just left him behind. And if he is dead, I definitely want to loot him. Do we have anything new to say? The Red Marches, I guess. It's calmed down somewhat. But that tomb of Ferragnos is a beacon to the Testament. Don't know if there will ever be true peace. Well, I mean, now that I've literally wiped out the Demon Lord, I don't really think they got much to go on, right? That was sort of like, they, they did sort of throw all of that fucking... I, I want to say eggs in one basket, but that is such a boomer expression. I'm trying to think of a, a more modernized equivalent, and I don't think there is one. And that makes me undyingly sad. Oh, I couldn't have gone this way? I mean... I mean... I mean... Does that mean he just sort of got up and walked away? When he, for some reason, was just convinced we were done? Or is he Big Corpse? Is he Big Corpse and this Niskaru just dragged him the fuck away? 
Oh, fuck off. I, I just finished this. They're clearly able to still summon this fire from here. Still a big fucking presence in the place. What's gonna stop another lord from just being like, oh hey, look at this gaping fucking tear in the fabric of reality into the other world. Yeah, maybe I'll take a nice little stroll into, <laughs> into our world. I feel like that's gonna be pretty damn common. They do seem pretty hungry for our juicy little bits of flesh. But no, but no, we don't care. We're not gonna close it up. We're not gonna blow it to fucking pieces or anything. We're just done. We did our part, I guess. Wow. We suck. Um... There is, however... Oh, I'm coming for you. I know you're still there. Bring relics to the t Did I pick it up? I did not realize I picked it up. So I'm afraid it's right there. Oh, no. Oh, you are fucking kidding me. Is it just one really, really obscure part of the temple? And I somehow fucked it up? <laughs> no! Alright, we, we are making our way back in. There is no way I'm leaving this. I've got every single quest known to fucking all of existence has to be done. Those are the rules. And I will find you, you asshole. Is it just going to try and push me back outside? Yeah, it will. It's going to be one of these exits. There is literally no other way. Uh, well, I guess, I mean, if I'm delving into this shithole again, at least we're gonna know if our big boy died. I really fucking hope he didn't, but, I mean, judging by what he said, where it was like, I'll hold him off as long as I can. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of just their free pass to ending him off camera, isn't it? Would it be this one? I can't figure this out for the fucking life of me. I mean, is this the one that goes up by ladder? And the latter one doesn't really lead to anything, if I remember correctly. It's not even the lovely law stone. You no longer seem to want to take me there. You want me to- oh, is this just telling me to leave the- yeah, okay. It's telling me to go to the fucking plains and I'm just a big old fucking stupid. All right, fine, fine, fine. I don't know why if you're unable to fast travel while you're in a fucking dungeon. I, I don't know why you're totally able to fast travel out here. Because your only way down is piking your fucking face into the ground and becoming dust, becoming the flattest little dude of all time. But sure, whatever, go for it. I'm not gonna stop you. It's not like the world needs you to survive to be a f to be fucking saved or anything. I'm stumbling over words left and right all the fucking time, aren't I? <laughs> ah, it, it's, it's bound to happen this session. I'm sorry, but it's, it's the best I got. I'm sure you guys don't mind too much. Is he dead? Where does Shrey belong? Because I think he's very dead. If I remember correctly, he was just sort of hanging out by the forge? He, he was maybe standing up next to this house? I think he died, but no one gives the slightest fuckle. What is wrong with you? Can I, I talk to you about to see it? You. Things have been fairly quiet around here lately. Yes, because the giant fucking Viking man is gone. The mercenary. He He's dead. Come. What are you? T that you can't even mourn him. You can't even have one line being like, "Oh yeah, I guess I'm sad that the dude who saved our entire lives is, is dead." Yeah, he was. He, he was certainly. He was certainly there. Ugh. I'm gonna Google him because I refuse to believe that they're just not giving him a single bit of send off. I, I would much rather believe that I am fucking stupid and blind and can't fucking find him than that they just didn't really give a shit. What was his name? I know it's Hride, but but I can't remember the rest of it. Or Shred or something. Oh, he was the Camel Toe Man. I can't believe we lost Camel Toe. He was my favorite. Uh, uh, notes? They know that no one cares about him. Even the wiki, they don't even describe him. He doesn't even have a description. They have his name, his location, and the quests he's a part of. Maybe if I look at the quest. Into the breach. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Yep. Yeah, he dead. Oh, he's really dead. And, and no one else could care in the slightest. I am the only one, I am apparently his biggest fucking fan, and I feel like a complete and utter asshole because of it. Huh. If I knew that, buddy, I might have chosen Elfman, 
or other lady. Just the other assholes that couldn't give less of a fuck about you. But then I bet I bet I'd feel just as bad about that than if than I do about your death, so doesn't really matter in the long run. It's not like you were ever gonna join me to save the fucking world at the end. Or maybe you would. I don't really know how in-depth this game goes with like the people you've met. Those you've made long-lasting, loving fucking relationships with, or whatever the fuck, and we were totally in love. I don't know if you could tell, but the sexual sexual tension was off the charts in that fucking mission, which is why I left him to die. If he dies, then my boner goes away, and that was it, it was very uncomfortable to fight with. So I, I hope you understand. It was it was absolutely one of the hardest choices I've ever had to make, but at least I don't have penile embarrassment anymore. Where do you lead to? absolutely nowhere you're a ditch what like that's it that is so clearly a door if that wasn't meant to be a hidden door at some point then then nothing else in the entire world deserves to be that is the most obvious thing i've seen in my life and it's just straight up telling me that it's nothing i'm gonna die here i'm actually going to die to these fucks what are you talking about i need to take another potion oh my god this many mages in one place should not be allowed uh, I, I don't stand a chance no one would Come on! Oh my god, I can't bring in my friend. My friend is gone forever. Come on, you little bony bastard! Okay, I never ever ever need to heal again now. Uh, just, just, if in case anyone was keeping track, I believe that is four, four fucking potions in a single fight. In this regular fight that means absolutely nothing, that will never ever 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 be called back to ever again, I used four potions. You better give me something decent. The queer ass of gotten. No, no, it just sounds like someone having a fucking stroke and coughing at the same time. Wow. This was not worth it. I mean, the four or five or six or something mages in one place. And they had you guarding like 300 gold. I hate this. I hate this so much. I know it'd be so very easy for me to just go and buy a load of the, uh weakest of the weak health potions but that should not have happened there is no reason for this place to even be on the fucking map i don't think i even opened up any new area i think this was fogged of war up to maybe this level i think i discovered like another two inches of horrible beige color okay wow how oh so very worth it seems like we are missing something up here though isn't really an amazing place to Fast travel to. I guess I could go to the tunnels, then run round and hope for the best. Yeah, let's just see what's up there, because I, I would hate to leave anything behind here. So I will see you guys real soon, because chances are it's just fucking nothing. Well, since I'm taking procrastinating to like the physically possible goddamn limit before we make our way to Odessa, because I am so sure those tiny little boss is gonna overwhelm me with side quests again. I thought we would turn in this random goddamn task to the Temple of Lyria. You know, the task that we've had for about 40 years and not made any progress on in ages. And I think that might be because we finished it ages ago and I just never even realized. What can I do for you? The only objective seems to be- oh no, no, never mind. I completely lied to you, we have not a single one. Wow! What a what a what what a jump cut that was. Well, they were <laughs> sent to the strongholds of the plains, the plains of Arathel. So I definitely missed one, but I I have no desire to go out to search for that now. Eventually, I'm sure I will clear the tasks from my uh, from my from my quest log and everything. But until then, there is nothing I would rather do less. So, what's dinner time? I'll deliver some more rat meat to that poor poor old lady. No thanks, no thanks. I would rather you didn't get all the rabies in the world. Is it rats that have rabies? No, rats have the fucking plague. Dogs have rabies. I'm a smart man. Attack Edstar. I know I can't find you. Deliver the package. It's in Odessa. I think they may be forcing me. I don't think we got any choice. And to be honest, I I'm kind of really down for it. I've been putting it off for so long, but I am really, really excited for Odessa. It looks fucking amazing. It means we can continue the... What the fuck are they called? The dudes I've been a part of for like a hundred hours of gameplay? Ah, uh, the Travelers! There we go. It means we can finally continue that. There's just so much going on with it. And I, I'm kind of in love with the Gnomes anyway. They're so fucking sweet. And I want to get Gnomed so damn hard. So let's do it.